Hi, in this video I will show how to use the uh, app for converting SQLite database to Excel. This is my website, I will leave link on this site in the description. To find app, I will click on the search button and type SQLite. And then click on our page of this app and click on the load button to start the loading process. And wait until file will be downloaded. Then click on download and archive. Double click on MSI to start the installation and click on more info. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. Just click run anyway to start the installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Conversion is three steps process. In first step, we have to select SQLite files we want to convert. I click select input file, navigate to actors and movie. It's simple SQLite database with uh, two tables. And click on next. Here I can specify which table I want to convert, or I can click convert all tables. Let's convert all tables from, from this database. Click on next step, click on run. And here I have to specify name and location of the file. This name and location is okay. Click save. And the file has been saved. Now let's go and see file. You can see our file here. Double click. I don't have uh, Excel, but I have Excel mobile. It's like free version of Excel. It allows me to show what is inside the Excel file, but it does not allows me to edit it and show it in an ugly way. So here. <coughs> I can see two, two spreadsheets and uh, all uh, data from SQLite is converted into these spreadsheets. And we can see all data and, uh, here. But as I said, I, it's ugly. I cannot uh, like uh, resize it or cannot do anything because it's just uh, no, it's not Excel itself. It's Excel Mobile Viewer or something like this. And yeah. So basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.